in this video and also over the next videos we are going to be talking about selectors and selectors is a very important topic in css and, and believe me you really want to know how the selectors work and how you can use them in your css file because this can cause some problems for you in the future so you really need to know how to position them and use them in your css file so as i said select uh, selectors are very important in css where you select your elements and style them and we have been doing this we have been selecting our paragraph our id our class we have been doing it but there are still other selectors that you need to know about okay so in this video we are going to be talking about selectors and also in future videos we are still going to be talking about it in future videos okay so like i said like um the selectors here as you can see on the right hand side of your screen we have the type selector and we also have the id selector we have the class selector we have the combined selector and we have the descendant selector so i'm going to be giving you an example on how these um, selectors work so the type selector is very easy we have been doing this is simply when you get the type which is the type which is for example the h1 and then you style the content inside of the h1 and we are going to do that now as you can see this um, this over here they are just comments they are not displayed on the web page as we all know so example of this type selector which i just specified now so you just simply use your h1 and then you say let's just change the color let's give let's give it a color of blue let's go to our web page and see refresh and now you can see our, our first heading now has the color of blue okay the text is blue so that is the type selector you can just select the type and style it okay so that's the type selector and the next one is the id selector and this id selector as we all know we normally use it for a specific element it's not um reusable you use the id um, actually use the id selector for a specific element and we have been doing this is we simply use the the hash the hash sign um let's just do this quickly so as for the id selector which we have here you can see it's just for one element for a specific element called an id of para one so let's go over to our css let me give you an example of this id selector and i know you already know this so you just use your pound sign then you say para one which is our id and we are still going to change the color color of the text this video is not for styling purpose i'm just i just want to give you um how, an example of how these selectors can work okay it's not for the video is not for styling purpose i just want to give you an example of of these selectors so this one we are going to give the color a color of um let's just give it the color of yellow let's refresh so we have now our id selectors you can see this text here it's, the, um, it's yellow the text now is yellow so we have now um manipulated the id so the next selector we have here of course um is the class selector and we also know the class selector we go to our index.html the class selector and the class selector is different from the id selector when using the class selector you can actually reuse the class as you can see here we reuse the class for the first paragraph for the second paragraph and the third paragraph we reuse the para class for the second paragraph and the and the last paragraph so it's not it's, it's different from the id um it's different from the id selector where you where you just need to use it for a specific element but when using the class element you can reuse it everywhere on your web page so let's simply style our class of para we'll come down here inside of our class selector we'll just specify the para oh sorry remember we use the dots the dot sign and then you say para and we are going to give this a color still going to use a color I'm going to give this a color of um let's give this a color of red this is for the class for the class selector 
So now as you can see, we have our second paragraph and our third, and our third paragraph with a color of red. As you can see, they now have a color of red. So that is the class selector as we all know. We all know the class selectors already. So the, um, the selector that I believe that you really need to know about and how to use them is the combined selector. The combined selector and i'm going to be giving you an example of, on how that works okay now the combine when talking about the combined selector is where you combine selectors and style them it's simply easy you just say for example now let's get our let's go back to our index of html so we have our h2 and also our h3 so let's style them with the combined selector so the combined selector you simply say h2 and the key here Make sure you specify a comma and after a comma you use h3 that is the key there the comma is the key so when using a combined selector make sure you separate them with a comma so that is the key there in the combined selector so we're just simply going to underline the text so you say um text decoration text decoration underline refresh and now you can see our h2 element and our h3 elements they now have a text decoration of underline so that is the combined selector now you can actually add any other selector here you can just simply do after the h3 you can just add another selector by specifying another comma and then for example if you have maybe a h4 element you can just put a h4 here as simple as that so you can add lots of elements and style them together with the combined selector okay so we'll just remove the h4 as we don't have h4 but like i said you can add um lots of elements if you want in the combined selector now the last element that we are going to the last selector that we are going to be talking about here is the descendant selector this is also very important when styling your web page the descendant selector now the descendant selector for example here let's go to our index.html as you can see we have a div here and inside this div we have a paragraph now the descendant selector here is the paragraph okay is the paragraph inside of this div the descendant selector is the paragraph inside of the div so the div element here is acting like the parent element of this paragraph element so the paragraph element inside of this div is the descendant of this div element okay so that is how the descendant element works and now to give an example of this descendant selector here this is what you do now since we have a paragraph inside of a div to specify to use it to give an example of this descendant selector you just simply use a div and this one you don't use your comma you just create your space and then you specify another selector which is the paragraph selector and then you can style it okay so that is the descendant selector and let's just simply give this a background color let's just give this a background color of um, um let's just give it this color here sienna and let's refresh now on our web page now you can see we have a background color for our div element and it's a paragraph element remember the paragraph element is inside the div element so that is the descendant selector now we now have the background color so that is how the selectors work now in the next video we are still going to be discussing these selectors there are other there are still many more selectors which you need to know about and they are very important so these are the selectors here that is this for this video very important we have talked about the h1 selector where you just specify the type the type selector and the par and the id selector which you just use your pound sign and then we also have the class selector which you just use your your dots you specify your class selector with the dot sign and then we also have the combined selector which you just specify with a comma you can put lots of selector inside of here but make sure the key here is to make sure you put your comma you separate them with your comma and then we have a descendant selector the descendant selector where an element is nested inside of another element so that element that is nested inside of another element is the descendant selector so in this case now the paragraph is nested inside the div element so the paragraph is the descendant 
of the div element and the div element is the parent of the paragraph element so that is the um, css selector and, I, and like i said we are still going to be discussing more on selectors in the next video and also in future videos so that will be it for this video i will see you guys